Willkommen zurück. An artistic soul in human flesh. That's me, all right. Just some university textbooks. Nothing I'm interested in. Okay. Wir haben die Blutprobe. Wir haben sein Tagebuch. He describes all of his different academic work in here. The most interesting sections for me focus on his Metaphobia project. Metaphobia is a phenomenon that occurs when the brain experiences pressure from high telekinetic frequencies. The pressure can change a person's thoughts and behavior. Most doctors diagnose the condition as schizophrenia. In his journal, he details how a secret society uses this type of mind control to turn people into slaves. Blake also mentions an Iranian museum with an ancient book called The Draconium that supposedly has more information about this secret society. That book could be crucial to my case. Okay, da haben wir's. A picture of a young woman. Maybe Blake's daughter. Sehr gut. Legen wir weiter. This machine almost looks like a microwave to me. Sind wir hier fertig? Haben wir auch schon. Kosloff war das. calling about the note you posted in the university. Oh yeah. What do you need help with? I have a blood and skin sample I need processed. Would you be able to help? Yeah, no problem. It'll cost mm -hmm. you between 50 and 100 bucks, depending on what kind of research we're talking about. That's fine. I'm not on campus right now. Can you meet me in the city library? Oh, sure. No problem. Cool. See you soon. Goodbye. Das war einfach als gedacht. Okay. Auf geht's in die Bücherei. Da ist der Dude. Hi. Are you Brian Kosloff? The one and only. You the guy who called before? Yeah. So what can I do for you? Ob wir ihm vertrauen können? I'd like some research done on these blood and skin samples. I want to know everything there is to know about them. Blood type, skin tone, age, everything. And let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. Diseases, chemicals, whatever it might be. All right, I'll give it a shot. It'll cost you 100 bucks. Pa Franklins. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll call you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Someone is calling you. Hey, Judy. Richard, something terrible has just happened. Mm. What are you talking about? You know the biology professor you asked me to watch? Professor Cornelius Blake? Yeah, what happened? He's just been killed. What? That can't be. I just spoke to him. I don't know what happened, but please keep your eyes open. I can't believe it. Keep me updated if you hear anything else. I will. What's going on? What happened to Professor Blake? If they were onto him, they may be onto me as well. I should lay low for now. These people could be anywhere. I don't even know who they are. I'll go home and rest. This is getting intense. Auf geht's zu deiner Tochter. All this commotion about Professor Blake has me exhausted. I should call it a day. Du sollst lieber mit Patricia mal reden. Und sie aufklären. Nein? Ach gut. Good morning, honey. How are you? 
bored. I hate this city. There's nothing to do. I don't know anyone. How can you live here? It's a city, Patricia. There are a million things you can do. When I finish my work, I'll take you out and show you all the great things this city has to offer. We'll go to a museum or an art exhibition, like we used to. When you finish your work, you always have work. Mysterious secret work you won't tell anyone about. I'll tell you once it's all sorted out. Does this have something to do with Grandpa's death? What? How do you know that? I can just tell. You're kind of easy to read, you know that? Is there a problem with the inheritance? You should talk to Mom if you need money. I don't need money. It has nothing to do with that. It's something else related to your grandfather. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Wow, Gandalf with the cryptic messages. Whatever. Keep your secret. I don't care. I gotta go study for a test. God, I can't wait for winter break. Well, if you get good grades, I'll take you out somewhere nice for your break. I always get good grades. And I'm proud of you for that. Yeah, yeah, okay, bye. Someone is calling me. Brian? Hey, I did some research into those samples you gave me. If it's okay, can we meet again at the library? Perfect. I'll head over there in a few minutes. Great. I'm here now. See you soon. Hmm, they're still there. Wollen wir keine Zeit verschwenden. Auf zu die Barry. Hello. So what did you find out? Look, man, I don't know what kind of weird shit you're into, but I don't want to be a part of it. What do you mean? Schlauer Mann. Don't play stupid. The blood is half human DNA and half some kind of lizard DNA. The skin has scales like a fish or a snake, but not like any animal I've ever seen. Are you serious? Who are you? You doing some kind of secret government test on humans? No, no, you don't under... That's messed up, man. It's not right. Just take it and leave. If anyone asks, we never met. Got it? I'm out of here. This is all best of us. This is really getting strange. Could this secret society be experimenting with lizard DNA? I'm not sure where to look next. Professor Blake mentioned a mysterious island in his journal, but he doesn't say where it is. That's the only clue I've got right now. I guess I have to book a flight to Iran to check that museum out. Let's see if I can get a flight to Iran. Yeah, Jesus, that's crazy. Clean. Well, I can't turn back now. So much for my savings. One round trip to Iran it is. Here we go. Let's head to the airport. Was? Hat niemandem Bescheid gesagt? Man, I haven't read a book in ages. I would love to sit down and read now. But I have more important things to do. Das glaube ich auch. I better call Patricia. Er ruft seine Tochter nicht mehr an. Wahrscheinlich erzählt er nicht mal, was los ist. Yeah. Patricia, listen to me. What is it, Dad? I need to go out of town for a few days. This is very important. Just say you're seeing your girlfriend. It's fine. No, listen to me. I'm serious. All right, calm down. What is it? It has to do with your grandfather's death. I'm sorry, I can't tell you more. Just be safe. Don't go anywhere by yourself. I'll be back as soon as I can. Dad, why won't you tell me what's going on? I'll explain later, I promise. Just be careful, okay? And please, don't tell your mother. I'm 17, Dad, not five. I'm not a snitch. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, you be safe too. Doing whatever it is you're doing. I will. Bye. I don't have enough time. I have to catch my flight. Ehrlich jetzt? Naja. Dann fliegen wir wohl nach Iran.
Du sieht Iran nicht aus. Damn, I'm lost. These streets are like a maze. I'd better ask around and find out where the museum is. Hallo, junger Mann. Excuse me, kid. Leider kann ich kein Farsi. What? Hey. 100 rials, please. What? I wipe your shoes, you give me money. Sorry, I don't have any rials. Only American dollars. No dollars, only rials. Listen, kid. Can you just tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is? No money, no talking. Damn, how am I supposed to get reals for the kid? Schauen wir dann mal. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. I scraped a bit of green mold off the wall. Oh, it smells horrible. Wie kann da Schimmel entstehen? Ah, green mold. I guess no one takes much care of this place. Ah, was hab ich von einem amerikanischen Entwickler erwartet? Hello. Good day, sir. How may I be of service? Also, ich bräuchte. Can you please tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not from this town. I only sell fruits and vegetables here in the market. I don't even know there was a museum. Try asking some of the locals. I will. Thank you. Um... Sir, do you think you can change some US dollars into local reals for me? I can't find an exchange office. Perhaps, but first you need to help me. How? See that fat man with a skull on his face by the butcher's stand? Yeah? That man is a fraud in Kukicha. He is trying to destroy my business so that he doesn't have any competition. But that doesn't make any sense. You sell different goods. Can't your customers shop at both stands? A normal person would think that, yes. But he only sees money. Any rile spent on my produce is a rile they could have spent on his meats. You see... Meat is expensive in these parts. Many of my customers buy only fruits and vegetables because that is all they can afford. I see. But if he can't keep people away from my stand, they'll spend what little they have at his. Just yesterday he was yelling all over the market that my vegetables are full of poisonous chemicals. What a lie! My vegetables are pure. They are grown from local farms. So Chef the man. Need you to somehow uh, tamper with his stand. Are you crazy? That's illegal. Believe me, it's for the greater good. Most sellers in the market would be thankful if you managed to get rid of that awful man. All right, I'll try. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll come back later. As you wish, sir. Reden wir mal erstmal mit dem. Excuse me, sir. Gurzda de Barsharid, the strain crashed the run. Um, no, thank you. Was? So. We have here a Zaubermittel. They put chemicals in the water and it makes it like a rock. Look at that. The meat is covered with mold now. Hmm. I've done it. Look, you can see it from here. The meat he's selling is covered in mold. I see. Just a moment. Zargun Pesar. Nega Konid. Dame. Ist 
There's no time for small talk. Okay, I did my part. Can you change my dollars into reals now? Of course, my friend, here you are. And here's an extra thanks. Take this cheese bar. My friend gave it to me, but I hate smelly cheese. You Americans love it, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> I do, actually. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your visit. Hotavaravasha. This means God be with you. Thanks. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. Kiddo, here you go. A hundred reals. Motashukaram, Aka. Now, would you tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is? You go down here, then the right. At the end of the long street, turn left and right again. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Oh, we're in the museum. Ah, die haben Snackautomaten. The vending machine only accepts coins. Hab ich coins? I can't just do that. Ich hab nur Käse. Hello. Hello there, my friend. What are you doing? Waiting for my friend. She went into the city to get some lunch. Why are you waiting here? I like it here. I can feel the winds of ancient history blowing through my hair. I see. All right. Das see you around. Mir. See ya. I always wanted to do this. Oh. I just hope it doesn't bring me bad luck. Also mehr Unglück als jetzt. I always wanted to have one at home. The sound of a fountain is so relaxing. Oh yeah. Das kann ich nur bestätigen. Hm, was haben wir denn hier? I bought a bottle of fresh water. The only thing I could afford with that Iranian coin. Nehmen wir mal ein Schlückchen. Very refreshing. And there is still plenty of water left. Mhm. Nehmen wir mal mit dem Typen. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Shan Magoria Museum of History and Archaeology. What can I do for you? Can you tell me how long this museum has been here? Why, of course, sir. The museum was established in 1864 with funding from the Ministry of Culture. And there's a lot here, isn't there? Oh, yes. Yeah. You'll notice the building has been divided to cover different topics. There's the prehistoric wing, Sections devoted to each of the ancient civilizations, such as the Sumerians and the Akkadians. Then there's a wing dedicated to modern Iranian history. I've heard you have a Sumerian mysticism section. Oh, yes, of course. That's one of the main exhibitions. You'll find it in the Sumerian history. A legend mm -hmm. has it that supernatural entities ruled the world from the beginning of human history and that the Sumerians praised them as gods. That's just a myth, of course. Though, for whatever reason, it's caught on with quite a few conspiracy theories. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Wir mal direkt rein? I am sorry, sir. The museum is not free to enter. I understand. Dollar? I would like to visit the museum. I am sorry, but we only take reals. Er macht es sich gut, dass wir noch ein paar Reals haben. I would like to buy a ticket. All right, sir. Uh, the ticket costs 100,000 reals. 